Hi everyone, I'm just doing a very, very, very quick whistle stop tour on um, how to get your pattern into either Pattern Keeper or use either Pattern Keeper or um, Markup. But if you've only got a Windows device, like an iPad or an iPhone, you will only be able to use Markup. I think for this particular um, circumstance, Markup is superior because it can detect the symbols uh, because Pattern Keeper is a fantastic app and people will buy an Android as I have because I am starting to do a bit more cross stitch again and I am um, um, I'm looking at maybe in the future doing some heaven and earth design um, conversions to diamond art you know so I thought it would be a good investment to get an, uh, to get an Android tablet for that and Pattern Keeper is very very good and a lot of people say it's superior but obviously you need a very, very specially formatted file to make that work. Um, and, uh, and we don't have that for this. We've got a wonderful pattern file, which, but uh, Pattern Keeper is very, very pedantic in what, how, uh, how it needs to be formatted to get what we call the stitch indexing. Or the, um, yeah, the symbol indexing, sorry. But anyway, I digress. So, um, I'm just going to go, to begin with, I'm going to show you how to get it into Pattern Keeper. So to begin with, you need to convert the JPEG to a PDF. Uh, most computers do this. If not, Google, uh, have a Google to uh, for some PDF converters. Um, but, um, but yeah, and then I'm just going to go into Pattern Keeper. So I've converted it to PDF and I've transferred it onto this device. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, I am going to blank, blank the sensitive parts off this so um i mean you can't really see in this bit but i will blank it off so that i'm not giving away uh, uh too much of the pattern so anyway so i have got um advent day well, well actually no sorry let me just add it again so i'm just going to add pdf file and then i've got my advent day one here And it will say no grids found. We don't, we know because it's, it's not a magic file. Okay. And so now what we need to do is we need to manually add the grid. So we click the plus icon here. And then we're just going to size this to the right size. Now, just going to zoom in to get these corners perfect. So just a little bit more. Well, it's hard because my finger gets in the way. Don't worry about it not lining up yet. It will in a minute. And then just that one. And it's all lined up. Now what we need to do is just make sure that the grid is the right size. The grid is 35 wide by 39 high. Okay. And then... What was I doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to, it will align itself once you zoom out. There we go. See, it's all perfectly aligned now. Okay, so now we just go, um, net, okay. And it will process that. It won't be able to import the symbols, I think it's the symbols, because like I said, it's not that magic file. Okay, and now this is just showing perfectly. I'll show you a very tiny bit so you know what I mean. Um, and in Pattern Keeper, the only functionality you have is you can select symbols and then say they're done. It's, you know, so, so yeah, if we're doing view the here, just select and then they'll just, they'll just mark off. Okay, just select these and then mark off, you know, and similarly, if you select the ones you've just, you can frog them, you know, so... So yeah, that is the most major functionality you have, unfortunately, at the moment with Pattern Keeper. So right, so I'm going to, that's Pattern Keeper. I'm going to go on to Mark Markup, which I think is the superior one. But I think Pattern Keeper is only £9, whereas I think Markup might be a bit more expensive. And you get, uh, you get like a month trial with Pattern Keeper. So if you're really um, doing it within time and you're not going to use it for anything else, then obviously that's perfect because you'll do it within the trial time and you won't need to purchase anything but if you're using markup it's a yearly subscription and i think it's a two-week trial so you will need to pay for it um 
So if money is an issue, it might be used pattern keeper rather than markup. It's perfectly usable. Right, just going to go into markup. So markup RXP. And again, process of getting it in is very, very similar. I just go add new project and then go PDF. And then you find the file again in the system here. And then it's selected already, so we go, so I'll just move this up. next. Okay, and then you don't need to select the, um, the grid in this one. And it will say no symbols detected, these can be manually added later, and then we go done. Okay, and it goes in, and then... We just click on it, load it up. It takes a little bit longer than Pattern Keeper, and particularly once you've got all the symbols indexed. But the good thing is you can index the symbols in this. Okay, so. Um, you can... Um, right, what was I going to do? Um, right, um, so you've got your grid here all perfectly formatted. And um, we've got the um, the index here, um, the colour list. Now, I usually go add key and I just add this list here for the key. So, just it's good referral thing. Once you've got all the symbols in, it doesn't really matter, but I go done. And then mark up. And so when you go into key, oh, sorry, done, save, there we go. And then, there we go. And then that's just the key now. Okay, right. So in order to um, select these symbols to mark them up, what we do is, so we look at our first one. So we have got number number one, 209. So I am going to click on the search button here. And then, actually, sorry, now I'll zoom into it. Then click search and then select any other ones. If it's like a very tiny amount, you might need to zoom in quite far so you don't click other numbers by mistake. And then what we do is we click this second symbol here, which looks like a bunch of threads. Sorry, my finger. There we go. Oh. There we go. And right, so, and we click find, and we just type in 209. Click on the 209, and then it's in with the number one there. And that is that symbol indexed. And then we go on to the next one. So we just click the symbol icon again, and then we go on to. Oh, sorry. Let me zoom out. We've got. So we're number two, which is two ten. So search number two. So just type, click on any twos. So we'll select them all, and then go into the threads, and then to type two ten. And there we go. And that's the number twos index. Now, if you go into the key. Um, and you can just see now in the key that those two are indexed and the more you do the more they'll be populated down there okay um, and I think if you want to edit your symbol index I think you just click on any one of the symbols at the top there and you can edit them I say if you want to like delete one oops sorry clicking too fast yeah, if you want to delete one just select it and click the trash there um, but yeah, but um, and then now these are indexed. We click. Yeah, you know, the only thing I've found is I'm not sure if you can get your your symbol index um, on the same page for the key. I think you have to select them on the key. So if we select, we had number one selected. So select number two, then go back to markup. Number all the twos are selected now. Okay, I think you might be able to manually select them all. Or the, the different symbol on the thing once. Um, let's try it, shall we? Actually, let's just try clicking on it. Actually, I think you need to go search and then just click on the one 
yeah, and the one's already indexed. And you've got a sensitivity here, so if it's not quite picking up, you could increase or de decrease that depending how well it's picking it up. Okay, so that is it in a nutshell, really. And when you come to, um, you know, selecting what you've done, we're just gonna you just click on the markup. So click markup, and then I believe. Oh, sorry, I've accidentally clicked one, haven't I? Symbol. Right, click number ones. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. If you accidentally click one, that's, you know, so that's just in the symbol search. We'll go on the markup. And now it should only allow us to mark up the ones, I believe. Yeah, you see, I'm clicking elsewhere and it won't let me. And so I just click all of these to mark them up. That I've done them. Or however you want to do it. And those are now marked up. So if I then go and search for another symbol, they all become up. They will become the right, the colour that they're meant to be. I'm literally not going to do any more because I don't really want to do any more spoilers, you know, for what it is. I, like I said, I'll blank off most of these charts um, so that it's not spoiling anything. Um, yeah, but uh, but that is just basically a whistle-stop tour and how, how to do it. I think markup is the best for this um, right now. But like I said, if you're really, really... If you want something a bit cheaper and you don't mind about the functionality and the fact that it's indexing it and selecting all the symbols at the same time, then maybe Pattern Keeper might be good for you if you have an Android device. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.